Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue with the Google Chrome web browser. This is private net error certificate authority invalid. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial, guys, on how to go about resolving this error message. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the start menu. Type in network reset. Best match to come back with network reset. Go ahead and left click on that. So before you reset your network settings, make sure you have your Wi-Fi passcode nearby because once we select reset now, our computer will restart and you will need to enter back in your Wi-Fi code once your computer restarts if you want to go back on the internet, as well as making sure you save and close that of any open programs and applications as well because you will have a five minute window before the computer will automatically restart once you select the reset now button. So once you've done both of those things, go ahead and select reset now. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Go ahead and select yes. So, like I said, we're going to be shut down within five minutes. So I'm going to go just be proactive and restart our system here. And then if you want to allow your PC to be discoverable by other PCs on the network, you can select that if you choose to do so. I'm just going to select no, but again, you might want to just consider that depending on your computer usage. Something else you want to try here too would be to open up the search menu, type in CMD, best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now I'm going to have two different commands in the description of the video guys, just copy the first one. It's just ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. I'm just going to copy that to my clipboard and then go up to the top bar of the PowerShell window here. Right click on it, select edit and then select paste to paste it in. It should come back with successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. And then you can do the same thing with the second command here. So just go up to the top bar of the command prompt window, right click on it, select edit, and then select paste to paste it in. Hit enter your keyboard. So you will need to restart the computer in order to complete the reset here. So go ahead and just actually restart our computer. Again, this is if the first method did not work for you guys. So just would recommend restarting your computer again here. And there you go guys, should be as simple as that. And if you go back on Google Chrome, you should not be experiencing this issue any longer. So pretty straightforward process. Do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.